contemporary security landscape is constantly shifting. Malicious third parties have access to more advanced technology than ever before, and as a result, enterprises need solutions which will allow them to counter increasingly sophisticated attacks. Today, I'll be talking about a solution which accomplishes just that by leveraging Oracle Management Cloud and Dyn Web Application Firewalls. This integration will provide enterprises with increased insight into perimeter activity and greater visibility into internal behavior so as to thwart would-be attackers. Today's scenario is going to revolve around a fictional marketing executive who unfortunately was the victim of a spear phishing campaign. A malicious third party now has access to this executive's credentials and attempts to access their cloud tenancy. This cloud tenancy is protected by a web application firewall, which is going to generate logs. We're then going to ingest and visualize these logs within Oracle Management Cloud. Within Oracle Management Cloud, we're going to be looking at two tools specifically, log analytics and security monitoring and analytics. And based off what we see there, we're then going to take steps to remediate potential issues. I'm now within the Log Analytics console within Oracle Management Cloud. And immediately, I can see the Dyn web application firewall logs that have been ingested by the system. If I drill down into those logs, I can immediately start extracting some information. Web application firewall logs, by nature, are not human readable. It's difficult to discern what's going on with them without some type of parser. And the system has done this for us. I can start to see information like what host country the IP address is coming from. Uh, what domain users are attempting to access, the host IP address itself. And I can quickly and easily visualize these fields within the Log Analytics console. For example, if I wanted to get a breakdown of traffic by country, I can simply select the pie chart and drag and drop the client host domain country. Once that's done, I immediately see that the majority of the traffic is coming from the United States. I could then save this information to a dashboard, and it'll dynamically update in real time according to the logs that I'm ingesting. So if there's more traffic coming from, let's say, Finland or Europe, uh, the graph will update to reflect this. At this point, I can transition over into my dashboards console and look at the actual dashboard that I've created for these Dyn web application firewall logs. Drilling down into this, we see that initial visualization surrounding traffic by country, seeing that it's predominantly coming from the United States. I can also get a breakdown of traffic by continent, seeing that it's mostly coming from North America, with some mixed in from Europe. I can see the traffic by user, so who's attempting to access the cloud tenancy. I have some sunburst graphs down here showing the web application firewall type uh, and host country, and username and associated IP address. These last two visualizations I'd like to talk about briefly because they leverage Oracle Management Cloud's AI and ML capabilities. These are all included out of the box. You don't need to have a PhD in data science. Uh, you just click a few buttons, and you immediately get some insight into your data. The one on the left, we can see that I'm linking the web application firewall action, the user who executed uh, the request to the tenancy, and the host country that it's coming from. For the one on the right, I'm linking users, host country, and the source IP address that the traffic is coming from. If we look at the graph on the left, we can see that for 1,000 log records, I have 24 groupings of similar data. And what's happening here is that we're leveraging Oracle Management Cloud's proprietary AI and ML algorithms to cluster similar groups of data. Again, this is all provided out of the box, no development needed, so you can quickly and easily get insight into your data. So at this point, we've seen what's happening on the perimeter of our environment. But now we want to see what happens when that malicious third party actually infiltrates our tenancy and starts accessing our cloud resources. So if I go into my security analytics console, I can start to get some information. First thing I'll see is I can see the system is showing me all the users within my environment and the ones that it's flagged as risky showing me the particular threats, and it's also showing me the assets that those users are attempting to leverage and potentially manipulate. So if I drill down into the specific threats, I'll see a few of them and the associated user. I'll see a brute force attack, a multiple failed login attack, and a targeted account attack. And we can drill down into each one of these. This top one, this brute force attack, is associated with Mary Baker, our fictional marketing executive. And we can see immediately that she's targeting some type of financial host, but we want more information. So if we drill down, we can see a brute force attack, which is you know, traditionally marked by a number of unsuccessful attempts accessing a resource, followed by one successful attempt. Uh, we can see that she's attempting to access a financial host. And she's unsuccessful in accessing this host six times. And on the seventh time, she is successful. The system's flagging it for this reason, but it's also flagging it because, if you recall, our marketing executive works out of that marketing department. And she's attempting to access a financial host. The system realizes that this is suspicious and this is anomalous and flags it for this particular reason. So at this point, we've seen that there are definitely some suspicious behavior associated with this user. And we'd want to lock down their credentials. 
So at this point, we would leverage our orchestration engine within our Oracle Management Cloud console to run an orchestration workflow that would disable her access to the system. So within the span of 10 minutes, we've seen not only what's happening on the perimeter of our environment, but also what's going on inside, and we've taken steps to remediate those issues. To recap, this demo has explored how Oracle Management Cloud can ingest and visualize web application firewall logs to provide increased insight into perimeter activity while also leveraging security monitoring and analytics to provide insight into internal user behavior and flag suspicious events like brute force attacks, web access anomalies, and more. In summary, Oracle Management Cloud provides unmatched security capabilities because it leverages such a broad array of tools and resources. Go to cloud.oracle.com to request a trial environment and start working with these tools yourselves.